This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review of Crankcase. This is a figure I won by default. So, uh, as I said in my drift review, uh, Deluxe Baldwin data draw and he had a prize for each tier level. And um, Kato won in, I don't know what's the, uh, the tier level name, but he won in, in his category, basically. And, uh, but he already had that. So I think he just told Deluxe, send it to Raz, or yeah, I don't know, the Raz, he told Deluxe he didn't need it, so Deluxe just added it to uh, my, uh, my package. So I won two figures. And Crankcase is not something I was planning on picking up because I know nothing about this guy. I still know nothing about this guy, but can't deny that this is a fantastic mold. Skids is one butt I always said I was gonna skip. And I still got him because all the reviews were raving about how great this mold was. So I picked him up and I'm not disappointed. He's a great toy. So now I have this one and I know that they're planning to do a medics from the Rescue Bot Academy uh, out of this mold. And I will pick that up for my five year old because he really enjoys the Rescue Bot. So, so before I do the review of Crankcase, uh, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Right, let's take a look at the box uh, standard legacy box you know artwork alt mode robot mode bigger robot mode with Cybertron and stuff looks good product shot 14 step and the QR code if you want to get the stats on this guy and then the standard legacy everything you know it's the same image all the time so it looks good all right, enough boxes, uh, instructions, standard, oops, sorry, standard legacy stuff, inspired uh, by War for Cybertron, and it still works, it's still good, still my favorite style. Weapon, I don't know why they gave us this weapon again, like this weapon made sense with the skids, secondary weapon, which we don't get here. We have this, uh, in translucent, black you know so a little more fragile over time i don't know and then you have this one and i don't get this i mean i don't mind it this is the hood but oh if you open it up now you have you can put it like that or like this and then you have rockets i mean from this angle yeah you have you know two guns inside would have made more sense for like a bazooka. You know those bazooka where the top would come down and then rocket would shoot? But he doesn't hold it like that. You know, he just hold it like a gun. So, I don't get it. I mean, it's a nice front end. It's a nice, I don't know, a new way to do things, I guess. I don't know. Figure itself looks honestly really good. Um, I don't, I still don't know who that guy is, but he, looks good i like the face sculpt you know mean mug with the visor painted it looks really good and then you have those little two cannons here in the back on the shoulder looks good you know that's different i thought he was a straight repaint of skids but uh no he, there's a lot of stuff that's been remolded um looks really good you have the dual wheel here so only the you know outside part spins uh, and it's of course on a stupid mushroom like that so it's it's not really nice but looks good uh the, i like the chest the chest is really something interesting love the kind of you know metallic pale blue looks really good the silver yeah that's a nice chest looks really good but I like the, the painted uh, plastic on these parts here. I mean, this doesn't look painted. I 
but this is and it's really reflective it's it stands out it's really nice um, you have from the front you have pretty much no waffle but you do have the standard mainline asbro waffle waffle full of holes and the back yeah the back cleans up nicely it's a bit big but it works no waffle here i like the way the wheels are tucked in looks good and i like the color scheme the marine blue with the uh, the black to my colorblind eye looks really good and then you have the standard articulation uh the head will pivot even if it's on a you know the big uh, back of the head uh, that's part of the hood but it's gonna rotate 360 you have your ferris wheel at the arm you have a rotation well you have a lot of rotation because of transformation so the arm can go like this can go like this and then you have a rotation underneath here you have your standard elbow band which is a straight 90 and then the end has a rotation so that's a lot of articulation in arms so that's that's pretty cool uh you have your fair uh, merry-go-round all the way and then if you put him let's see if he's able to do the johnny cage no he's hindered so there's no johnny cage for this guy so he's gonna punch you in the stomach instead of the groin Oh well, you do have, I don't know why this isn't clipping, but anyway, uh, you have a kick forward, it's really tight, sorry, kick back, a good 90, but then because of transformation you can also, you know, kind of do a little kick forward, and you have the ankle rocker, you don't have a tilt. So there you go for the articulation of this figure. So let's do some size comparison with Siege Barricade, Legacy Scourge, and Skids. And let's do a quick comparison. The chest is completely different. Uh, the head, it's a new head sculpt, but he does have the same gimmick that this back of the head is going to be part of the hood. The arm are different, you know, he, it's presented uh, differently. Uh, his articulation are different. The mold, the forearms are the same. Uh, the bottom, the crotch are the same. The legs, shin. Uh, but you have different mold details on the side of the legs. So he's clean with stripe, and he has, you know, a gas tank. And on the other side, he has. Well, I guess it's not gas tank, but something else. And he's still clean. And in the back, he has. Uh, this spare tire and he doesn't uh, and then even the mold if you look at the right at the back it's not the same um, vent I guess we could call it that or I uh, know those would be lights around the license plate so you don't have uh, the same design uh, so that's very interesting even hmm, I think no, that looks kind of the same on this section here yeah and then the, even the back, I mean, he has very little uh, kibble, but it's a larger block here. He has huge panels on the side, but a smaller uh, rooftop. Looks really good. Both of them, really good. I like how they did this um, remold. So, and the transformation is just slightly different uh, for the uh, upper part because uh, the legs uh, do the same same thing. So well, there you go. And here's the final look for crankcase. And now let's do the uh, transformation. First, you want to remove the weapons. Close that up. And then you want to... Flip this up like this. Well, I pushed it too hard. Hold on. Come on. It's supposed to go that way. There you go. Sorry about that. Then you want to, you know, put the arms underneath like that so that this part here lines up with the side of the car.
like this and you're done well almost all you have to do is add the front end so i thought it was really you know this part is it's just weird for the weapon but it looks good enough so that's a nice looking car i mean the big decepticon logo the you know marine blue all over here looks good he's all black so it's fun because the robot is you know mostly blue and then you have the alt mode that's black uh looks i like it looks really good uh clear window but there you don't you can see the legs inside and all this stuff so but it's it's more a darker clear if that makes sense so you don't see well i hear you see it though so maybe toy hacks will have something for this guy um the wheels perfect wheels weird ass wheel um, because of two things first the half wheel because the rest of the wheel is part of the like it's one block with the arm uh, and uh, and you can't rotate the head to hide it in alt mode so that's because it's right here but I do love on this mold and skids I do love the fact that there's an actual that you know the shin will come unfold and go under act as a skid plate so it hides, except the head, it hides everything really nicely. I mean, you can tell this is a foot, but like the underneath of a foot, but it still looks really good. And then one thing is that I wish these would peg a little better, like, uh, well, this one's pegging fine. This one is too loose, so it doesn't roll super nice. Well, it did now, but... And these don't roll because they're half wheels, I don't know if... It just, maybe it's just the surface, but they don't roll as nice. Anyway, looks really good. The weapon looks goofy on top, but there's no, well, there is another bag, but that, well, actually, it doesn't look half bad. Anyway, it makes no sense to put it there. Anyway, and you can always store it in the back. There you go. If you want a nice concealed alt mode. And I have a little bit of a QC where this panel, you can hear it, doesn't stick. Oh, my bad. I don't know. It unpegged. So I don't know. Maybe it's because it was just a little too far back. Looks really good. So now let's do some size comparison with... Siege, Starscream, Funko Pop, Unicron, and Jada Toys, Cheetor. All right, so let me put this guy back in robot mode and do the final thoughts. All right, so in the end, I really like the look of this guy. Love the colors. I love the transformation, face skull, the alt mode. I mean, it's still a soccer mom van, but it's it's very 80s, and uh, it's, it's a good representation of that uh, that era. I like the uh, I like this figure. I'm really happy Deluxe and partially Kato. Thank you very much for not accepting this toy when you wanted fair and square. I'm glad that uh, I ended up with it, and I'm really happy. Got to clean that up. I'm really happy to have this guy in my collection. He's gonna look good on my, you know, Decepticon shelf, and uh, you know I have fewer Decepticons than I do Autobots, so he's gonna even the odds. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!